So this seems to be working fine. And for the last steps, I'm simply going to show you how you can also make some simulation and record it as well. So first thing I'm going to do is define uh, go all the way on top and define two new inputs or two new parameters. Let's call them Boolean record, uh, record. And I'm going to make this false. And the other one will be Boolean run equals false. So run will be a variable we are going to use to run a simulation and record will be a variable we're going to use to um, export images. And I'm going to do these in inside draw. So here, for instance, we can do if uh, run is active. Uh, and we can also check for if frame count, in, uh, if it's 24 frames per second, you can simply do a mod 24. And if this is equals to zero, so this was basically um, defining every second. So if run is active, every second we want to increment z by one, z plus plus, and then do update, right? So this is going to take care of um, the space. So we don't have to hit space. This will be automatically run. All we have to do is switch run on. And then we're going to show our boxes. And at the end, we can check for if record. So if we want to export the image, then we can simply do save frame. And I need to type in, uh, let's say cube dash hashtag 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 dot JPEG. So what this will do is it will out output um, each frame as a sequence so that you can convert them into a video clip. And let's go all the way to key pressed and add two new variables. So let's say if key equals X. So what do we want to do when we hit X? Uh, we simply, let's say we want to record. Record equals true. Or if you say record equals not record, you can switch between recording and not recording. And I'm going to copy this and make this one R and do the same thing for run, right? So we can toggle between um, running the simulation or not, or, or recording or not. So I'm going to run this now. Uh, I also saved it into a folder. So what I can do is first, uh, we can also make some statements. For instance, after we switch this, we can like, for instance, um, write some statements here, like print it's recording or um, uh, just output this image and so and so. Uh, but basically, I'm going to first hit um, X to start recording. So let's set, up, set it up in an angle that would be nice to see what's going to pop out. So I'm going to hit X and then I'm going to hit run. So basically at each second, it's generating a new layer and it's saving this as an image too. So I can also move around and look at it from another angle. You also might want to keep it at a steady angle so that you can look at the variation a bit better. So this is for this uh, variation. When it reaches on top, it's going to stop automatically. And we're getting kind of a nice um, bifurcating columns here. So this is the variation I got. It's still recording, so I'm going to simply hit X again to stop recording. And it already stopped running because um, when it reaches the Z value is greater than array size, it simply doesn't update anymore. And since I've been recording it, um, I'm going to open up the folder. And you can see that I have generated here the images as output, right? So this is the uh, image folder. And we have two ta over 2000 images, um, starting with the first frame count. And you can also convert these to videos. So if you go to Tools, Movie Maker, and choose, go to the folder, which was um, 3D final. 
and hit open and it will automatically find the um, the images and our uh, size was 600 by 600 so you can type in 600 by 600 and frame rate could be 25 or 24 doesn't matter and we don't have any sound files so all I have to do is create movie uh, put it to desktop call it movie and it will combine all the images in a sequence and it will create it kind of an animation and as I said all these variables like the resolution uh, for the initial patch the dimension the simulation box size the set automata rules as well they are customizable so you can simply turn these true or false or write other types of if statements to change it and you can also uh, play around with lights you can play around with the input conditions I made it randomized but you can make it maybe more symmetrical and my movie is here so I'm going to open it so that we can look at it so this is the animation as a movie clip and processing does this automatically so if uh, you have a sequence of images you can convert it to um, kind of a video file and it's also doing kind of a nice job when I move the camera around so you can also use this to output uh, the results of your simulation as a video clip and uh, it will be nice to also change the resolution to a larger one so that we can see um, a lot more